Good evening and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where it's time for the final vlog from my trip here to Florida and what an absolutely epic trip it has been. Tonight I'm here at Fun Spot America at the Orlando Park. So this is located only a couple of miles away from the Universal Orlando Resort. In fact, when you're on the rides over at Universal, you can look over and see these here at Fun Spot. Of course, you've got a fantastic GCI wooden roller coaster here. Uh, it's actually one of those where the actual track is wood and then the support structure is steel. Uh, along with that, you've got the Vacoma uh, suspended coaster there behind us as well. We've actually had a new attraction. You can see the lighting for that. It's very bright. Look at that. It's a new Star Flyer. And what's interesting interesting with that is that it's got the normal seats and it's also got the flying ones on there as well like them little uh, flat rides and spinning flat rides along with that there's a few other rides to get on as well there's a fun house since I was last here and yeah come and join us along with that Brett's here with me tonight as well for the final vlog from this trip to Orlando so yeah let's go and get inside fun spot here's a look at the park map then here just to give you an idea on the attractions so obviously we're down here at the main entrance free parking at the fun spot parks which is awesome yeah you got freedom flyer just there which is the Vacoma and then white lightning and yeah I love the position of that kind of all around the perimeter out and back layout on that fantastic it's actually uh, the same layout as Heidi the ride at Plopsaland Dipan however obviously Heidi the ride is a full wooden coaster uh, with this like I say it has got the steel support structure but it's had some work done to it so I'll talk about that in just a moment all down here of course uh, you got all the different go-kart tracks you got the wheel just there as well and yeah there's a few little flat rides and of course the sky coaster in the middle but uh, here he is the main man da -da -da -da, for everybody how are you Great, I'm back at Fun Spot, There we go, last vlog of the trip. Here he is, he's got his season pass. Season pass, ready to go. Big, big season pass holder. There we go. He's also even got his park in the front. Yeah, so when we're pulling in, like, like Brett was like, oh, I get a free parking. I was like, everybody does. Yeah. And then he's like, no, you get a, a parking spot being a season pass holder. Quite good. And I thought he was joking, but there's a sign. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, anyone can park there, I guess, but just you can park there, it's right at the front. It's a great park for nipping in the evening, 12 o'clock, like every night. Can't beat it, really. Especially, like, we've done that tonight, haven't we, you know? Straight yeah, Universal, come down. And of course, after nine o'clock, you get your cheaper wristband deals. Nice yeah, here we go, which is perfect for me. So yeah, here's a look at the prices just here. Mega fun pass at the top. Um, of course, that includes the rides and a Sky Coaster flight. You got the normal fun pass just there. Of course, it is plus tax. Um, but yeah, I think it was like 35 um, is the discounted price after nine. So yeah, I'm going to buy my wristbands. Let's go and get on some rides. There we go, make sure you ask about the evening special. Oh, that's what I'm here about, my evening special. Can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, again, it's expensive to pay for individual rides. You know, the go-kart tracks and coasters, they're $10 each. And the other thrill rides and kids' rides, they're $5. So yeah, you definitely best get a wristband. And don't forget, you've got your evening special. Perfect, right, let's go. Here we go then, I've got my evening special. Look at the uh, lighting package on there. That's nice, that is, isn't it? It's not very tall, but you know what? I think it fits in quite nicely into this spot just down here. There's White Lightning going round. First ride coming up. Looking forward to this. So yeah, White Lightning has had some work done to it. Brett knows all about it being a local. So what's happened then? So about a year or so ago, they put, they tested out for GCI a little bit of Titan track. So essentially GCI's new track. It's like steel track that parks have old wooden roller coasters and they want to completely refurb it and put some steel track in. They're trying to be a bit like RMC in a way, aren't it they? It very looks similar to our, like RMC track, but they just tested it right at the corner of the ride, and I guess they didn't really like that, so they went back to the wood and they retracked the wet rest of the ride with the old, like, proper GCI wood. So it's all been retracked, and a little tiny bit of Titan track, which you'll notice it goes nice and wood, and then suddenly steel, and then back to wood. So I like cool. a nice bit of GCI wood. Yeah, so cool. let's, uh, let's go and give this beauty a ride, shall we? Here we go, looking forward to it. Yeah, I got my evening special, it was 37. There we go. Yeah, I've never seen one of them on the fly. I have to definitely give that a go on the Liberty Swing. It's a rare credit that the flying position is never usually open. So yeah, and, and this is pretty new, isn't it? This ride. It's yeah. not been here that long, you know. Yeah, they never normally have it open. Too, Th this was just why. dead space, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, dead yeah. space. It's a travelling ride, obviously, but hopefully it stays for a while. Yeah, I mean, a park like this, you know, quite a few of them are fun fair travelling rides, you know. So it's kind of what you expect. The great thing is with these fun spot parks, you rarely wait. Check out the vlog from Kiss and Me if you haven't already seen it from a couple of days ago. And uh, yeah, you'll see, of course, we went on Mind Blower up there. It was really rough. This is a much better coaster. Uh, and yeah, the fact that it's now been retracked, that's a nice sexy view, isn't it? So patriotic as well with all the flags on the lift. I love how they do that at Fun Spot. Here we go. Straight up. Nice big uh, Great Coasters International sign there as well. That he's replacing, doesn't it? Here we go. See, as you can see, it's all that steel work. 
for the support structure and then the wooden track sits on top. Right, let's go on White Lightning. Oh, ho, ho, and we're up. Yeah, I mentioned in the intro that we're close to Universal. There's the spotlight coming up over there from Velocicoaster and the Hulk. You can see Rip Ride Rocket over there as well. And here we go. See what you mean? You can actually feel the Titan track yeah, a little bit. Not, not loads, but, but it does. You kind of you know, know where it's at. You really notice the difference. Yeah, no, yeah. you can definitely. That, that was really good. Very smooth. Well, that's ten dollars worth already. We're going for another ride. Give you another perspective. Bit of rider cam. Looks the part, doesn't it, with the lighting? when you get some air in your face there you go yeah, that was nice that off. white lightning a couple of POVs there you go $20 worth of ride nearly had my wristbands worth already well I tell you what white lightning was riding amazing like it was really smooth in fact I'm gonna say it it was a little bit too smooth I do think though in a couple of years time when it ages in again it'll be riding just right because you've got to think a wooden coaster it's not designed to be too smooth is it you need to have a bit of shape rattle and roll just the right amount not too much you know Only you would find something to complain about <laughs> find you i just think it doesn't feel like no. a woody in places it you is know a bit too smooth but i think with the humidity here in a year from now it'll be perfect yeah yeah 100 percent humidity makes a big difference to yeah. the rides especially a wooden coaster with the track expanding that's and why there's not that many woodies in the state anymore honestly it's yeah hard to maintain over here yeah 100 percent and, and maybe that's why we saw the end of uh, Guazi as it was, you know, and, and, and the change into Iron Guazi. Exactly right. Let's maybe try this contraption. Yeah, we're going to give this a go. So it's Liberty Swing. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this. We'll get on one of these flying uh, seats just here and give this a go. So yeah, never done one of these before in the flying position. Can you imagine the Orlando Star Flyer if it had the flying seats? How cool would that be? <laughs> Right, here we go. So we're lying down and we're getting some nice views. Freedom Flyer there, there's the car park. Yeah, and here's Brett, there he is. This is not too comfortable. I don't think it's too bad actually. Can you imagine this on the Orlando oh, Star Flyer? Oh my God. Oh, swinging about a bit as well. There we go. Oh, what? you meant to put your head here, that's why. What a great view, yeah, yeah. Basically, have you, you've, you've done a Zampirla Valara, haven't you? No. Have you not? No, this not. is basically a Zampirla Valara. Imagine this, and then now going round inversions. Well, this makes me want to go on Hero then. Yeah, that, that is literally, that's why it's so bad. You know when I say, oh, you're back and stuff. Just because you've got, like, it's hard to explain oh, now, but. What was that? I don't know. Nothing's really pushing your back down, is it? No. And that's the problem what you get with the Zampirla Valare. So I, I assume this is Zampirla manufactured as well. Nice view of the lift hill. You can also see Icon Park over in the distance there as well. Just over there. Ferris wheel looks nice with the lights on, which is cool. Short cycle, just over a minute. But yeah, you get a nice view. You got the normal seats there as well. There we go. I tell you what, I'm totaling up the uh, dollars tonight now. $25, that. tell you what, you're making an absolute fortune. One tonight. more coaster, mate, and I'm done. I've got me 35 worth. Uh, you know what they say to that, Sean? Bargain. Absolute bargain. That's what we say at Theme Park Worldwide. Love that. Right, Freedom Flyer. Get me uh, $10 worth, or 10 bucks, should I say. I haven't been reading anything, though.
Well, that was certainly very different. Not the most comfortable I experienced, but yeah, them restraints really aren't, are they? <laughs> but yeah, it was something a little bit different. I'd say, you know, I'd rather do it in the normal seated position, just so you can appreciate the view a bit better. The thing is, when you're lying down, you're in a bit of a funny position, aren't you? So you can't really see the views as much. Um, but yeah, it was all right. It was worth going on, nothing spectacular. Um, but I'm glad we've done it because, yeah, Brett said it's quite unreliable, that as well. So we're lucky to have really got that tonight, especially with the lying down seats. But here we go, we're going a nice uh, family coaster next. Vacoma family suspended just here. Standard layout, but not a bad ride. Freedom Flyer, and yeah, no queue. How was that for you? Are you all right there, mate? Yeah, I was trying to dance on your video. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, if I knew that, I would have got him in it. Oh. Yeah, it was good, a bit uncomfortable though. Yeah, I was just saying, I think you actually get a better view when you're in your normal seat. Yeah, I mean, that ride, I was just more focused on trying to get a comfy spot <laughs> yeah. instead of being comfy ride. Yeah. I'm glad they've not gone for that one on the main one. Oh, can, can you imagine? Factor, that'd yeah. be scary. Would it? You're looking down almost. Yeah, like. yeah, that'd be absolutely terrifying. But here we go, right, we're off. Nice family coaster. Freedom Flyer, great addition. I do think this is the superior park out of the two. And when well, I say out of the two, out of the two in this area, you know, there is the third one in Atlanta, and obviously that's getting the uh, the RMC, Airy Force One. Um, so yeah, I'd like to get on that. I mean, you'll be doing it this year. I, I'd like to do it, well, but... The thing is, we're passing Orlando, it gets in the Atlanta one too, yeah. so I'll be making the drive up. And you got a bargain, really, haven't you? Bargain with that, yeah. Friday special. So what is it, what, six hour drive or something, did you say? Five and a half, six hours. Yeah, yeah. so straight, it's... Straight, all the way straight up, so it's easy. Worth it for an RMC. Worth it. Here we go, right, come and join us. We'll take you on here now. Second countdown. We really thought about the position though when they opened these two coasters. Volcano Bay over there. Oi. Oh! That was a bit jolly there. Woo! Oh, this is aged uh, not great. It's not rough or anything, but it's just a bit of a rattle. Felix, Felix, wait. Here we go. This normally gets quite forceful. Proper Helix, Felix, wait. Join in, you know you want to. Felix, Felix, woo. Oh, there we go. Brakes in the station. Lovely. Oh, got that. Nice POV there from towards the back of the train on Freedom Flyer. Yeah, nice ride that is. You know, I wouldn't say it's rough, it's just a little bit jolty. Um, it's more like the actual chassis of the train that's shaking, um, not actually the rough track or anything like that on the ride. Uh, but no, I enjoyed it. But yeah, just going back to the park itself, it is nice here. It's definitely better finished off than the Kissimmee Park. Um, like, just things like the planting around, uh, and yeah, just the general kind of vibe of the place. Um, Brett's ready to go for a nice flat ride here. He's ready for Screamer just yeah, over here. I've just called Jeff. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, he's coming over. So yeah, you find like they do a lot of kind of staff sharing here on the rides, which is fine, you know, especially um, on off-peak kind of nights. I think it's always an off-peak night at Fun Spot, to be honest. It doesn't really get rammed. But yeah, you've got the nice uh, lake just here, of course, with the uh, nice fountain. And of course, the Sky Coaster with great lighting on there. That was done by KCL, so that's the company that did the lighting um, on Hang Time at Knott's Berry Farm and quite a few other rides around there as well. So yeah, let's uh, go on this little drop tower now. Oh, and we've got another night of safe, clean fun here as well. Great views of Freedom Flyer. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, that's it. The cleaner's laughing at me down there. She was popping. Oh, I'm going to laugh. You're right there, Brett. Look at this, Ed. Uh, look at this. Woo! Look how much the restraint wobbles. Oh, my God. From this angle, it looks like you're going to hit that, that light there. You look a bit close, mate. Watch out. Oh, oh my God. Hey. Hey, giving us a wave, are they fans? I don't know. Oh, what is going on, Brett? Look at this. Look, it lifts up. We're for the big jolt now. The big the jolt? Man. When? When, when the jolt? What? Yeah, look at this. Hi. That is how it sends. Oh. <laughs> Oh, blimey, it was a good laugh, that was. I'll tell you what, it's a better drop tower than over at Universal, that, isn't it? Like, it's better than Doctor Doom's. Hey, I hate to admit it, but it actually is. It actually is. It's actually an all-around better ride. You've heard that from the Universal fanboy himself, Brett, just like over here. I don't stuff very often about Universal, but I'll have to agree with you on that one. Yeah, a good drop tower's needed just down the road, isn't it? It needs it? to be just removed and something else, I think. Yeah, yeah, keep the theme and everything, like, keep the area, you know. Be nice, that. Oh, here comes the coaster. Here, yeah, I'll get a nice shot here for you all. Look at that. Lovely night for it tonight. Great sky. 
really clear. So yeah, you're looking at that, it's the standard layout, it's the exact same as Fly to the Pterosaur at Portons Park, if you're wondering. Yeah, you have a funnel cake over there. Got an Enterprise here, uh, this has been shut for over a year, Brett says, it's been shut for quite a while. But you do get to see the workings of the old Enterprise here, which is quite cool. Little look at that there, like all the hydraulics and you know, all that kind of stuff, which I find really interesting. The arm, of course, that lifts it up. Tell you what, it's old that is, isn't it? Like, look at the gondolas on that. Like, compared, to, I mean, Enterprise at Alton Towers is a really old ride, but blimey, look at the gondolas. All right, we've got Rip Curl just over here. We're gonna give this a go, let it rip. Little section around the back. Nobody going on the Sky Coaster. Yeah, that isn't included in your wristband, unless, like I say, you get the, uh, the more expensive one. Yeah, we've got the 360 over there as well, little SPF, obviously. We've got one of them at Kissimmee. Tilt a whirl over there as well. Yeah, quite a few flats. Scrambler over there as well. Yeah, some of the rides, they might look short, but literally you walk over to them, a member of staff will come and get you on the ride. But yeah, let's go and give this a go. Rip curl. Go surfing. just to get some food now. Uh, I'm just finding a little snack and Brett was like, well, they do some, <laughs> it's making me laugh. They do some really nice cookies inside here. So we go in and get some cookies and they're uh, manufactured by Otis Spunkmeyer, as we can see just there. <laughs> I don't know why he's laughing. So mature, like this channel, we take everything very seriously, as you know. Um, we have Otis Spunkmeyer. I've just had a taste of these and they're actually really nice. So, you know what? I might be having some more of these as well. But uh, there you go. If you're coming to Fun Spot, get yourself a Spunk Mayor. Really nice, that. But I didn't disappoint that. Brett's just tucking into his over there now. I think that's quite good. <laughs> it's delicious, that. You I know, thought he was you know joking. Go on. Put it in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the microwave. What? Oh, God. Like, honestly. On that note, we're leaving that cookie behind. Here's a little look then. Of course, the turnaround section there over at White Lightning. And then yeah, we've got the go-kart tracks down here as well. So yeah, this was like part of the original part down this end. Then when they opened the two coasters down there, um, they kind of expanded down in that direction. But yeah, you got the fun slide just here as well. That's how we go on there. And yeah, this was under construction last time I was here. So it's a new attraction for me. It's the American Fun House. Got the little slide over at the side there. Love a good uh, fun house, and as you can see, it's got the Fun Spot branding on there as well. Got wristbands, so yeah, may as well go and give this a go. And the final vlog of the trip here from Orlando. Oh my God, Brett, what have you brought me into here? The fun house, Sean, is that fun? I feel like I'm in an idea gone wrong. That's what I feel like, as yeah, the rip. Like, yeah, do you want to buy some lights for your kitchen, you know? That's it, it is an idea gone wrong. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. What's happening? 
in here. Oh! Where have we got them? <laughs> Those lights are about as reliable as Velocicoasters. <laughs> oh! Feel the burn there. Oh. Oh. oh! There we go. Oh, did you? Oh, there we go. Hey, theme park worldwide on YouTube. Oh, fun spot, everybody. Hey, oh, there we go. They're nice, aren't they? There's nice team members here. You know what this feels like it should be? These steps that are walking up now. I don't know the technical name for them because I'm not really a fun house expert. But one where the, the stairs move. Do you know what I mean, Brad? Like the one at Fantasia. Like yeah, they move. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. feels like that's what should it be. Yeah. But because we're in America and health and safety is a little bit OTT with some things, it probably took them out. Yeah. That's what that looks like to me. I reckon so. And that's why you can't have nice things. Fortunately, so. Here we go. This is another one. This here, Brad, is supposed to be a conveyor. So this. No, I get. I reckon it's because of health and safety. You might rags. I've never seen this move. Yeah, health and safety. You know what though? You're going to be getting a conveyor like this with the new uh, Minions attraction. It sounds like anyway, at Universal. Yeah. You've got two moving walkways. Yeah, now. you're going to stand on a moving walkway and shoot targets apparently. So we'll see what that uh, is like. Of course, check out the Universal vlogs if you haven't already seen them. These ones are kind of awesome. Oh, no, these, are nice. these remind me of the ones in the Keeper Wild Mouse XXL. Yeah. Great coaster. Good ride, Winter oh, Wonderland. Oh. There's Liberty. <laughs> it's actually really satisfying just watching Brett on that then. There we go. He's gone. Where's he gone? Oh, oh he's back. Hey! Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Upstairs now. Is this the top level, I think? The big daddy. The big daddy. Oh, we got a good view of the go karts up here. There we go. So you got a few different go kart tracks. You got a couple here. Another one around there. Yeah, loads. Ferris wheel. Yeah, that's the old entrance just over there from before they did the expansion. It's good to see them expanding though. You know, it is great to see. Should get a nice view of the park out this way now. Oh, there's the little coaster down there. So yeah, just got the three coasters to get here. Happy swing over there. And a fantastic view looking up. The Sky Coaster just there. It always reminds me of the old American Adventure theme park we used to have back in the UK. You know, because they used to have one of these there. You know, it was so iconic that was. I do miss American Adventure. So you can take the stairs down or the slide. Which one are you going to do? I'm probably going to go for the slide. Unless I'm going to get a real wet bum on it. It's under cover, so I think you'll be Yeah, it right. should be okay. All right, this looks all right. You, yeah, I'll go down. I'll get you coming out on the bottom. I don't think we're going to get going very fast. We don't normally on these, to be honest. There we, <laughs> there we go. This is just me on a standard fun house, Brett. Every fun fight I go to, this. Lift your feet up. Here we, here we go. Oh. oh, that's not a nice noise. Clear. Oh. See if Brad's hanging up. Oh, there's the lorry. There we go. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've already gone. You got a friend up there. Hello. Nothing. <laughs> Where is he? Whoa! Oh, you did better than me. It's all right if you can keep your feet up. I really struggle to keep my feet up. I'm such a flexible athlete, it's even. Oh. <laughs> I won't say what I was going to say. It's a family channel. Here we go then, straight from the fun house over onto that third coaster. And we've got some theming in the middle, Sea Serpent. You don't need a kid or anything to ride this one, which is good. You can just get on it, which is good. Ride is open, attendants are rotating for the Sea Serpent. And yeah, we've got some lighting out for Mardi Gras down in the middle there. Oh, oh look at the rhino, he's got beads on for Mardi Gras. Woo! Nice lighting. Oh, air time. We're on the sea serpent. What a lovely ride. It's actually got a lift hill in the station there. Obviously, because it's a nice little small ride. Woo! And Brett. Hey! You're right back there. It's a nice relaxing ride. He's enjoying himself. Oh, it's always good to see Brett. Oh, that's oh. it. End of the ride. Oh, a nice ride there on the old sea serpent. And yeah, we've got to get this rhino in better down here, haven't we? You now we can see him up close. There you go. Dress for Mardi Gras, all the beads. Got some nice flamingos down there as well. And here we are, Route 66, the speed district around here. Yeah, loads of go-karts. That is, again, the great thing with the fun spot parks, though, because go-karts are expensive to ride. No matter where you go around the world, 
you always pay quite a bit for go-karts. So to be honest, the fact you can have as many laps as you want on the go-karts with your wristband is really good. And I think that is still the main reason why the wristbands are a bit more expensive. I don't know if you agree with that. I don't yeah. think it's really about the coasters. Well, if you look, like, the coasters are walk-ons, but the go-karts have all got queues, so yeah. it shows you people come for the go-karts. And the cost involved in running them with yeah. fielding them up. I mean, you could ride, if they have families will come and they'll ride these all night. You know? Yeah, you which is that, you get your money's worth, don't you? And you've got a few different tracks as well. Some have got, like, uh, overbanks and some quite, you know, steep turns. The one at Kissimmee, that's got quite a big overbank, actually. We did that the other night. Yeah, quite a few go-karts got the big wheel down here as well so yeah this is like the original end of the park see I'm right in thinking that was like the old entrance kind yeah, of that building where, so up until the uh, the sky coast that was as far as you went and then when they put the two coasts in 2013 they extended the park back and big then, expansion and then put the front, front entrance up there yeah and I reckon that's when they did a lot of the flooring as well because you can tell the flooring looks in a really good state here you know quite well looked after arcade down the bottom there yeah, like go-karts are busy. Should we go on the uh, on the wheel shortly? Have a ride on there. Look at the lighting package on that. God, that looks amazing. Look at all the gondolas. They've got all different lights on as well. Fun Spot America in lights in the middle. That's a beautiful wheel, that is. 10 out of 10 from me there on the wheel lighting. we go up onto that lovely wheel brett over here has uh, got a nice little pink souvenir cup just there well, i went in for i get a coke and i realized it was only eight dollars and fifty cents for a season pass holder for a year of soda all year all year like that is amazing and atlanta too bargain like how good's that it's like eight dollars for the year like so brett is happy now Obviously, you've got to carry it round, which is a bit of a faff, but it's not, you know, you, you're saving bad. money. Yeah, get, every time I come, give her a little refill. Fancy a swim? <laughs> In this, yeah, here oh, we go. Don't push me under that. It's not a water park, it's bumper boats just down here. Here we go, so I think we're going to do them first before we go up there. Why not? Bumper boats. You can get your money's worth down here, though, and you got to think, is there four go-kart tracks or three? Uh, one, this, yeah. two, three, four. Four go-kart track, it's good. Like, you know, there is quite a bit. This park is definitely better value for money than the other one. Here we go, one to Sean's boat tours. So yeah, we just turn it this way. Don't go in that there. Then we can squirt, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh no, four people, I'm gonna get them. Here we go, ready? Oh God, this poor bloke, ready? Oh! Oh no, is it reaching him? There we go. Oh. There he is. Oh, 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 mate. oh, mate. oh, God. Stop it. <laughs> that'll do, that'll do. Oh, mate, that is horrible, right? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, Brad, I'm ready for this middle bit. Oh no, you best not to. You say <laughs> Oh god. Oh no. Right, let's have him. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we're getting the operator now. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. You're right mate, he's getting oh. <laughs> Oh, you can really get absolutely so silly, right? We're having him again now. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is how much fun we have. Oh, God. This is why I love doing this, what we do. Oh, <laughs> oh me back. Oh, God. That's it. Hey, oh, he's going in the middle. Oh, the, uh, you, you stay away from me. Oh. <laughs> oh, the operator's just loving life. <laughs> You're getting close to that. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh no. That was scary. 
Oh god, it's so... <laughs> There he is! Oh! Bossa! <laughs> oh! He's going in! Oh god! Oh, that was so much fun, that was. I guess that's why they call oh, it. God. Fun spot, here we go. What we, what's that? Film it, theme park, here we go. Theme park worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, YouTube, you're on YouTube right now. Hello, guys. Hey, it's on YouTube. There you go. Don't worry, he wasn't swearing. That's what they do in America. Um, but here we go. Right, we're on the big wheel now. And I tell you what, that was awesome. That I really like the bumper boats. And to be honest, this wheel is one of the best I've seen lighting wise. Because look at the seats. Yes, shout out to the seats for this one. Because they're absolutely awesome. The colour changing, they've got the LED bulbs actually built into the seats. I can't think of another Ferris wheel that I've been on anywhere in the world that has got lighting actually in the seats. It's like a fancy bar that you go to. This is really nice. Here we are then, up at the top of the wheel. So yeah, you've got Universal Orlando Resort just over there. Rip Ride Rocket flashing away. And then of course, you've got the parking structure off to the left, the parks there, and also as well, some of their hotels. They're actually the two new Universal hotels off to the left there. Yeah, known as the Surfside Inn, Dock, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Dockside. Yeah, Surfside and Dockside. So, yeah, two new hotels. Now, they're not actually at the resort, but they are connected by a free bus. Um, so, yeah, they're actually on iDrive. Um, but, yeah, the, the budget, you know, there's some really good prices there. Really good prices. Yeah, I looked at maybe staying there this trip, but I still got a better deal elsewhere. Wet and Wild's old, old site. Yeah, Wet and Wild. I did that in 14 when I came. The park. It was all right. It felt a bit dirty in places, I thought. So the rides were good, the park wasn't good. Yeah, it felt... So not a good park, but yeah. Mm. I, it, I'm, I much prefer what they've done. They've built a new water park and put some more hotels in. It's like chat with Brett, this is on here. Like, it's like you're on this sofa being Me interviewed. With, with all the shouts and the seats. With all the lighting just there. It's lovely. So yeah, here's a little look around. Just at the area. We're kind of down the end of the main part of, of I Drive. Really. It starts kind of filtering off, doesn't it, down this point, yeah, really? Yeah, much going on over there. No, like, I mean, how far does I Drive kind of carry on down that way, officially? Is it, you know, there's not much down there, though, is there? Yeah, it might be RCDB Brett, but I'm not Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Apple Maps. Icon Park over there in the background, of course. Down that way as well. And yeah, epic lighting on here. I really like this part though. I, I think this is much better than the Kissimmee part. But I think Old Town is nice up there as yeah. well. It's a shame, really, they didn't just make one epic park. That's down the road, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've had some laughs, haven't we? We've had some laughs. So true. So, yeah, we've got all the go kart tracks. Give a, yeah, one of them a go, definitely, whilst we're down here. There he is. Yeah! There's the operator. No, does he know? He's on a channel with over 300,000 subscribers. There we go. Hello, Mum, I'm on the telly. Yeah, only a small part, but I think they've utilised the space well here. You know, all the go-kart tracks are nice and compact down at this end just here. Get a nice aerial view of them, actually. Yeah, all nice and compact. And then, of course, you've got the two coasters that, again, are pretty compact down there. White lightning fitting really nice there. And then, yeah, a few different flats. Oh, please remain seated. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you got the uh, alligator area over there as well. Have to have a little walk through there, won't we? All the lighting. Yeah, it's lovely. Nice, classic American amusement park. Well, we just done a couple of the go-kart tracks, and I've got to say, they are awesome. I do really like them. You got the bumper cars down here as well. So, yeah, you got four go-kart tracks. We've just done a couple of them. Yeah, I reckon, like Brett says, the, yeah, you're right there. <laughs> but, I'm a bit everywhere. God, can I say? Um, but yeah, yeah, I think they're really good then. Great value. Quad Helix, good Helix on it. It'll be interesting to see if the pricing goes up here with the gas prices going up. It's not just a British thing, they're going up everywhere, aren't yeah, they? You know. going up significantly over here. So I wonder I if that'll think, affect the go-karts, I don't, I don't know. I so, because the price is already quite high here. If they went up higher, then they'll look in SeaWorld's price. I think one day, though, it's get, we're not actually going to have go-kart tracks like this. Oh, It'll sorry. all be electric, you know. Because well, we've already got a lot back home now, electric go-kart so tracks. go-kart tracks in Orlando, other than the, like, but all the indoor ones are all electric. Yeah. So I can see that probably happening over the years. But here we go, we're off to see the gators in a second. And Brett pointed this out. They actually sell gator bites just here. So 
There we go, I'll leave that one with you, but uh, not for the vegetarians, this one. But uh, yeah, I think we know where they get the uh, food for this stand from. <laughs> They've got It's made on site. That's unbelievable. I can't believe that. It's only for the Mardi Gras though, so the gators know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look forward to this time of year, do they? <laughs> oh God. Well, we might, we'll have a walk through there if it's open. Um, down here, we may as well. Yeah, they've got a few different food stands. Every time I've been, I don't think I've ever seen these open down here on the right, these games and stuff. It just never seems to get busy. I mean, what is the busiest you've seen this ever, this part? Uh, like on a Saturday, maybe a one or two train late for White Lightning. Yeah. And that's on like a peak holiday weekend. But like in terms of walking around, like, oh, do, you, I mean, do you get groups or not? Like, not really. No. no. Birthday parties, they do quite a few other things, don't they? Yeah. The busiest I've probably seen it is like IAPA week, and they always have like, Yeah. GCI have their event here. That yeah, we've been to like, that before, which is good. Yeah, it seems like that's the busiest time for this part, really. Yeah, yeah, it seems so. Yeah, we've got a few more flats to get on just down here as well. Yeah, Head Rush 360, obviously got one of them up at the other park as well. Little uh, teacups down there for the kids. Yeah, there's some juvenile rides. The Happy Swing just there. They're quite good fun, actually. Yeah, and the little teacups. We never go on the fun slide, that's usually fun. Yeah, I think we did that last time, didn't we? The little slide over there. Yeah, another little juvenile ride here. That's a very small tracked ride. You get to see one themed item there, a giraffe. There you go. It's open. Is it open? Right, let's go and see them then. So yeah, you get in with your uh, wristband. Go and check out the kitchen. You know what, I've, ne <laughs> I've never been in here before. You're joking. No, I've never been in. Live alligators, I'm getting my money's worth tonight. Here's a look then at the animatronic gators. <laughs> Only joking, of course, the real they're looking at us. You can pay for food if you want to uh, and feed the gators if you fancy that. I don't really like the way they're all just staring at me, I'll be honest. Like, they're just looking like, yeah, especially this one down here. I'm not, yeah, I'm really not too sure on him. Yeah, I've never been in here so before. Those are five to six years old and these are two to three, so a little baby one. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't spot the sign on there. Good spot there. These are little small ones, aren't they? Little small gators just down here. Worth coming in to see. There you go. These are Just, really small ones. Yeah. Even the five to six year olds are small compared to Florida. Yeah, I mean, you, some big like, ones. you just see them about. Obviously, Bush Gardens have got them ones near the entrance as well up there, haven't they? You know, they're pretty. They're big ones. They're pretty big ones, aren't they? Up there, there up at go. Bush. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's the big daddy just down there. Is he on his own in there? I don't, can't see it. Not a friend. Sure, he's not on his own. Yeah, he's on his own. Is he? Oh, he must be vicious. That one. Won't get too close to him. There you go, big, oh, there you go, big nasty, is that what it's called? There you go. It is illegal in the state of Florida to own an alligator without proper licenses and permits. I thought they were just like wild a lot of the time. You know, like people have them as pets. So if you have one as a pet, like a dog, you need a license. Why, why would I want one as a pet? Just, honestly, look it up. Some, like people have them like on leashes and stuff. Not not many, who do you think I am? Tiger King. <laughs> like, you know, I am falling back here in the shrubbery. Like, oh my God, I'm not going to start keeping them, am I? Have you got one? No, not me. Like, I did look on eBay, there's a few for sale. Yeah. <laughs> it's like something you see on I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. This is like the big tank. We've got an eel just down there. Is he alright? I don't think he's eeling too well. Uh, there we go, and we've got this little fella. Oh, he's gone! Oh, he didn't like the camera. That's him coming down here. There you go. He does not like the camera. Yeah, you can just pay to come in there. It's like we mentioned before, you know, you can pay per ride or you can just pay to come into the park or if you didn't want to go on rides, you could pay just to come into this. What's around here? There's a big white albino one. This is the last part of it. Oh, is this the, the main kind? That's the build-up, is the pre-show. Yeah, and there's like a giant, not a giant, like a big-sized white one, which is rare, really. It's well, rare. I don't think I've ever seen a white gator before. This is going to sound really stupid now. Like, Brett's probably going to laugh and a lot of the viewers oh. are. Oh, God. What, what What's the difference? This, it, the, He's gone. The big one must have died. I mean, uh, I, I he's passed away. Passed yeah. away yeah. But things die, don't they? Uh, you know. But they've got many uh, white ones. Oh, they, but there was a big white one before. Oh, a big white one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't know. Who's there? What? <laughs> <laughs> right, what I was going to say, I'm on a right laughing fit here. What's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? So, I'm not sure this 100% <laughs> what I've been told is. Crocodiles are salt water and alligators are fresh water. All oh, right, okay. So, like, alligators are but they look the same. No, they've got like a different oh. like, nose and whatever you call it. I don't know. Right. No alligator. Jaw? Actually, I'm not Steve Irwin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yeah, shame about the big white one down here. But I've never seen one like that before. Like, that looks really. <laughs> I'm going to say, it looks like really tasty. It's like chocolate that you like, white chocolate. You know, like at Christmas, you I get something. I was going to say, put a bit of too much sun cream on. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh God, so yeah, the big finale's gone. There you go. Oh God, we've had a laugh. So we've just been chatting with the lovely staff in there. Really nice team members actually. And we found out a bit of information about the big one, haven't we? Yes. Is it Gatorland? Yeah, so Gatorland actually owned the gator mm. spot here and they provide the animals for the park and they said that they wanted to do some more breeding so they put them back to Gatorland and they're gonna... One of only 12. In the world, by the way. That is amazing. Amazing. I thought I'd never seen one before and I've seen a lot of alligators just, yeah. you know, around places and yeah, that, that was... Yeah. So apparently know. the big one's not actually an albino, it's a different breed, so there's only 12 of those. That's yeah. crazy. Part of a breeding program, but so uh, yeah, there you go, Gatorland. It's an attraction about 30 minutes away. Um, and yeah, we've got a little video in there. They've got like this uh, zip wire attraction over the alligators. And also, it looks quite interesting, packed with airtime, like a bumpy kind of off road yeah. kind of. Kilimanjaro oh, Safari is yeah, now right. Yeah. And they've got a train. Um, yeah, and a train ride. Might go there at some point in the future. But so, uh, she said, quite yeah. a lot to do. Yeah, there is. But uh, anyway, we've got a few more rides to get on before we wrap up the vlog, of course. But yeah, we'll get some more POVs, get on some flats, I think. Love a good tilt a whirl. This is like a proper American classic. Oh, we're getting going all right here, Brett. A little zipper dip at this. I really like these. Woo! Oh! It's that good. Oh, here we go. I do have to credit Brett for that because I have nicked that saying. Uh, I do say it on quite a regular it's basis. A great saying, I don't blame right, you. Know, A scrambler just down there as well also known as a twister or a twist Woo! whatever you want to call it more flags up there as well Whee! nice view of the sky coaster Whoa. here at fun spot america fun spot orlando one of their three parks i'd like to get up to atlanta especially the fact they're getting the rmc i don't think there's loads of other rides there though from what Doing a bit of research on there. Obviously at IAPA back in November. That's when the oh, that's when they actually announced Airy Force One. Um, you know, and yeah, it'll be a big thing for them. I still find it really surpri oh, surprising that they're getting an RMC though. Oh blimey. <laughs> Brett's just chilling out with his refill. Eight dollars a season. He'll be walking down here on a night when he's watching Coronation Street. I know he's a fan of Coronation Street, you see. Like, he'll be coming down here, getting his refill in, and then watching Curry. Oh, oh my God. I'm actually getting some G's on this. Got to go and go. It could, Most of the tent's right in the park, then. It actually is. I've got to go two and a half, three G there. Fun fact about Curry is I take a monthly membership out for Breadbox just to watch Curry. <laughs> <laughs> Eight oh, nine nine a month. I think we're going to love that. Oh, hey, till the world. Oh, lovely. I'll tell you what, we're getting a good cycle on here. We're knocking up two minutes. Oh my. Two minutes now. Exactly. Oh, and there we go. Just as I said, the cycle's good. And we're shutting down. There we go. Even gets a round of applause. Three, two, one. Safe, clean, fun. Here we go then on the Scrambler, as it's called. Not Scrambler, Scrambler. Woo! Hey! Oh, to be honest, we're picking up some pace here. Brett, you're going to get squashed, so I'm going to be letting go in a minute. I'll let you know when I'm going to let go. Well, it's got some kick to it, then. It has, yeah. I'm going to be letting go in three, two, one. Safe, clean, oh. fun. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll try and hold Whoa. on. I'll try not to squash you. Oi! <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You've not been on it. Oh. I was scrambled to get it, but it closes. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Scramble legs. Oh, God. Sorry, Brad. I'm squashing you a bit, mate. Whoa! Oh. This is great. Yeah, this, this has got some kick. Real good kick. I, I would love to know how old this is. We're talking, you know, a, a nice old flat. You know, a lot of these flats are old at Fun Spot. You can tell they probably picked them up pretty cheap, but that's fine, you know. They're operating, that's the main thing. And I don't mind the staff swapping thing. Sometimes you do have to get their attention, give them a little wave, you know, uh, and say, yeah, do you just want to come and operate this one for us? But it's all right, it's quiet. I really feel like I've had my money's worth down here tonight. And we've still got about 45 minutes left. Get a couple of coasters in. I don't know if we'll give that a go or not, really. I mean, we could do it, take a couple of minutes, I guess, but we went on it the other night. Obviously, we've got the uh, swing just over there as well, over at the back. Give that a go, because I really like those. But yeah, this is pretty pretty standard, not too intense. Woo! Well, this is all right, the scrambler. I like the scrambler a lot. Yeah, not bad. Nice little flat. Whee! They've got a lot of flats here compared to the other park, don't they? Yeah, and I think that's why it feels a lot better value for money um, because of that, you know. 
The other one's still worth going to, especially if you're an enthusiast, you want to get the creds. Mind blower is still a ride that's worth going on. Yes, we gave it a bit of stick the other day, but it has become very rough and uncomfortable. But of course, if you count your coasters or if you're just into rides, you want to go and get that. Yeah, you know, you're still going to want to go and experience it. And Old Town's a great place. And if you can put it in your itinerary on a Friday or Saturday, you'll get the car cruise as well, which is well worth going to see. You know, I'm not really a car kind of person, but even I really like the car cruise. There you go, Scramble's still going, so we'll see you after. Woo! Oh, here we go, we decided to go on. You ready, Brett? Can't wait, here we go. Yeah! Got a bit of off ride. And a bit of off ride. I've got the camera on the drive on the side. Woo! I think they're a bit scared to go on down there. I think they're watching us debating it. Oh, there's Universal. Woo! There he is. You're right Woo! there, Brett. Just, just hanging in there. Just hanging on Woo! in. Spinning around this way. Oh, yes, lovely. What a lovely evening here at Fun Spot. But no, like Brett said earlier on, it is fantastic how these are open till midnight every night all year because it does get people here from the bigger parks, you know, just to come down here and enjoy the fun. Woo! This one's definitely better value for money, though. Whee! Whoa! Slow it down. What a nice view. Not one person's been on the Sky Coast so I've been here tonight. Yeah, a bit of a short cycle on there, but it was worth going on. Pretty much done everything now. Well, yeah, we've got the SNS swing just over here. Got some lighting on the bottom, which looks pretty decent. So yeah, we'll give that a go and then just re-ride the coasters. Yeah, we've got 30 minutes left. Park's really filtering out now. Really empty. I'm surprised it's still open till midnight. It's good that they do, but you know, financially, you'd think maybe 10 o'clock would work better for them. You know, I find it crazy. Here we go, it's going to sit in the hot seat. Not who wants to be a millionaire, but it is the hot seat. We've just got to wait for an operator. Unless uh, Brett's going to jump on, control it for us. <laughs> yeah, if you come and just wait over here, then someone will come down. Interesting from a safety point of view. I don't know if they lock down the rides or, you know, turn them off. I mean, that looks like it's got power to it. Obviously, we wouldn't go over there and touch it, but you know, from a safety point of view, is that locked off now? Or if we went over there, you know, would you be able to operate it? That's something that, you know, at most parks, you would not be able to leave a console switched on like that. I mean, I've operated rides in the past and, you know, you wouldn't be able to just leave it. Especially not unattended like that. Yeah, like yeah. unattended. I don't know. I mean, if you went over there now and press buttons, is something going to happen? Obviously, we would never do that, but it's just an interesting thing that they're actually allowed to leave it yeah. powered up. You'd think they'd have to turn the, the key, you know, turn the ignition off, so to speak. But here we go. Let's go on hot seats. Safe, clean, fun, Brat. Whoa! Our last flat of the night. Whee! Woo! Oh, great view down there, white lightning. It's our first full swing. We got one full swing. And we got... Oh! What? <laughs> Two full swings. Here we go. We're going to get some more. Three full swings! <laughs> oh, not the best that, Brett. The other one's way better. Wow, there we go, get a couple of re-rides on the coasters, and that's it. Right, I just had a chat with the operator, and I told him to whack the speed up, because we know from kissing me the other night that they can put these on a higher speed. But they just don't like running them higher. Already I can feel a bit more kick. So let's see if we get some better uh, swinging action here. Woo! It's got a bit more thrust in it. Not loads. Not much. Way! Oh, the operator's loving it. Look at him. Whoa! It, it doesn't feel loads different. A little bit. We're getting a little oh, bit, a little bit higher. That's it. And, oh, that's it. God, it's still a short cycle. Right, mate. And that was high speed. Get me back on the woody. 
<laughs> that wasn't with Brett. Thanks to the legend over there. Like, how good was that? How speed, mate. There you go. Full little fat. There you go. Full little fat for it. The tanks for that are all the way over there. Isn't that funny how the tanks are over there for it? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, the, the, <laughs> but, uh, you the Da Vinci Code. No, you got to you gotta think. He's taking the mic. You've got to think, though, normally like Russian stuff and these. They're built right next to it normally, the canisters. Yeah. But no, like this one, they're actually yeah. over there. In you know, the, you know uh, they put them there, right? Just hidden away. For the nervous. <laughs> just hidden away, because they are noisy, them kinds. I mean, listen to all that over there, blimey. Well, we got like, what, 10, 15 minutes left, so time for a couple more uh, coaster rides, I reckon, just to wrap up the night. But yeah, it does look great, that, doesn't it, when you see it all nicely lit up, all the lighting. To be honest, Brett, I think we're the only ones left in this park. Yeah. Like, where is everyone? Uh, Everyone's all, gone. They've all gone to Icon Park, mate, for a ride on the drop tower. Till 2 a.m.? There you go, that's where it's at. Well, there we go. We're just going to get our last couple of rides in there now on White Lightning. I'll take you on for one more POV. Why not? May as well on this awesome little GCI. Yeah, three, two, one. Woo! Here we go. We're the only ones on this ride. It's nearly midnight. And here we go. We've got the camera on the station. See you later. Brett's on the back. Oh, staff are awesome. Front row POV. I'm just going to hammer this now for the last part of the night. Only one's here. Literally, look at the bar. Oh, 360's going round over there. But I've had my money's worth tonight. Let's go. Woo! to wrap up an epic trip and the bonus vlogs from Orlando, Florida. Wow. Hey. Oh, what a beauty. I tell you what, that is riding good, that is. Really nice. It's always fantastic coming back here to Florida and catching up with Brett. And once again, a huge thank you to Brett for being in quite a few of the videos from this awesome trip. You know what? It really has been fantastic. A great night tonight over at Fun Spots. Made my way now back down here to Icon Park, where we just had another ride on the epic new drop tower, back where it all started uh, for this trip. And you know what? It really has been incredible. In two parts, of course, the main run, um, getting on Ianguazi, that was absolutely awesome. Back on Velocicoaster, Icebreaker, along with everything else, it really has been amazing. And uh, catching up with lots of other people here too really has been wonderful. Uh, back to the UK now to continue on uh, with some more parks. Um, so stay tuned for lots of content coming up because as much as we've already seen quite a few of the parks now open, um, yes, there's still more coming up, including some new attractions as well to stay tuned for in the next few weeks. So of course, here on Theme Park Worldwide, we're gonna be covering that. What an absolutely epic trip. Make sure you check out all the vlogs in the special playlist called Florida March 2022, where you can see everything from this absolutely awesome trip. It really has been wonderful. And this time, staying down here on iDrive, uh, kind of right in the heart of it, has been perfect, especially with me not doing Disney this time. Uh, it's been great. Just staying right down here, opposite Icon Park, uh, really has been amazing. Thank you so much to all of you for watching. We've reached 300,000 subscribers this trip too, which is epic. And thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. We really appreciate it. Get out there and keep on riding. See you back in the UK.